Ruling the Palestine region for more than 400 years, the Ottomans fought fiercely to keep the ancient lands during World War I, but eventually lost them to the British. The Ottoman Empire ruled over Jerusalem from 1516 to 1917. During this time, the Ottomans built many monuments and restored the holy sites of Islam, Christianity, and Judaism. The Ottomans also faced several challenges and conflicts, such as the Napoleonic invasion, the Arab Revolt, and the First World War. The Ottoman soldiers were known for their bravery, loyalty, and devotion to their faith and sultan. They wore distinctive uniforms and carried various weapons, such as swords, rifles, and cannons. They fought against many enemies, such as the Mamluks, the Safavids, the Russians, and the British. They defended Jerusalem with courage and honor, until they were forced to surrender it to the British forces in 1917. Palestine, which has witnessed many conflicts throughout history, came under Ottoman rule in the 16th century. When Yava's Sultan Selim defeated the Mamluk ruler Kansu Gavri, in the Battle of Marj de Beek in 1516, Syria and Palestine joined the Ottoman lands. Yavuz Sultan Selim entered Jerusalem on December 29, 1516. Under Ottoman rule, the Palestinian territory was organized into three states, Jerusalem, Gaza, and Nablus, all linked to the Damascus province. Palestine, in the last period of the Ottoman Empire, was first linked to the state of Sidon, later to Syria, and then to Beirut, which was founded in the last period. Palestine was and still is a region of great importance for Muslims, Christians, and Jews. In particular, the sacred places in Jerusalem could not be shared. Even the various denominations of Christianity were in conflict with each other. After the conquest of the region, the Ottoman Empire also applied its own administrative methods in Palestine and the Ottoman regime dominated the region. When Western forces invaded the region in the 19th century, a never-ending chaos began in Palestinian and other regions of the Middle East. In 1917, the war was going on at all fronts in World War I. However, Ottoman forces had begun to retreat, losing many places in the Southern Front. On March 11, 1917, Baghdad fell. The key target for the British was Jerusalem. Ottoman troops were trying to block the British by holding the Gaza Beersheba line. Conflicts intensified in Gaza. The Ottoman army stopped the British by winning the first Gaza battle in March 1917 and the second Gaza battle in April 1917. Then the British sent Edmund Allenby, an important commander who had fought on the Western Front. In August 1917, the Ottoman administration strengthened its armies in the region, with German battalions and established the Yildirim Thunderbolt Army Group. Erich von Falkenhayn, who had fought on the Western Front, was appointed head of the group. Many troops that had fought in Anakale were also present on this front. This is the second part of Ottoman rule of Jerusalem. The Ottomans ruled Palestine for 400 years. Palestine was and still is a region of great importance for Muslims, Christians, and Jews. In particular, the sacred places in Jerusalem could not be shared. Even the various denominations of Christianity were in conflict with each other. After the conquest of the region, the Ottoman Empire also applied its own administrative methods in Palestine and the Ottoman regime dominated the region. When Western forces invaded the region in the 19th century, a never-ending chaos began in Palestinian and other regions of the Middle East. In 1917, the war was going on at all fronts in World War I. However, Ottoman forces had begun to retreat, losing many places on the southern front. On March 11, 1917, Baghdad fell. The key target for the British was Jerusalem. Ottoman troops were trying to block the British by holding the Gaza Beersheba line. Conflicts intensified in Gaza. The Ottoman army stopped the British by winning the first Gaza battle in March 1917 and the second Gaza battle in April 1917. Then the British sent Edmund Allenby, 
an important commander who had fought on the Western Front. In August 1917, the Ottoman administration strengthened its armies in the region with German battalions and established the Yildirim Thunderbolt Army Group. Many troops that had fought in Chanakale were also present on this front. The Ottoman military force was weak against the enemy in terms of numbers and equipment, and the limited Ottoman military power had already been severely weakened by the Sarkom and Canal attacks. Against the advancing enemy, Enver Pasha could not decide where to concentrate his troops. While the southern fronts were falling one by one, there were still Ottoman troops on the European front. Due to strategic and tactical mistakes, the Ottomans were caught weak on the Palestinian front. There was also a division of views between German and Turkish commanders. The report sent by Mustafa Kemal Pasha to Enver, Talat, and Jemal Pasha in September 1917 clearly reveals those and more troubles. General Edmund Allenby of the Egyptian Expeditionary Force tried to open the way to Jerusalem by ceaselessly operating after his arrival in Cairo in June, eventually breaking down the Ottoman defenses. British Prime Minister Lloyd George gave the order to take Jerusalem by Christmas of that year. While the Ottomans were expecting an attack in Gaza, the British took Beersheba on October 31, 1917. The attacks by the Ottoman forces to take back Beersheba were not effective. The British intensified their bombing and turned Gaza into rubble. Rafay Beel Pasha chose to take a stand instead of retreating. However, the Ottomans from Gaza on November 6 to 7, 1917, with hundreds of causalities. As the Ottoman units retreated, they lost the majority of their equipment, as well as suffering significant human losses. The British won the Third Gaza Battle, opening the way to Jerusalem. The courage and calmness of the Ottoman officers prevented a great defeat. The heroic soldiers fought with their bayonets fearlessly, making the enemy to pay a huge cost for the victory. Falkenhayn believed that he could defend Jerusalem, but successive defeats weakened the resistance of the Ottoman commanders. By the end of November, the British captured Ismail Hill near the city. Offensive attempts to retrieve the hill failed. Ottoman forces built a 20-kilometer defense line. However, when the British captured some of the Turkish positions, the defensive line broke. The British were not able to advance immediately because their forces were not reinforced, even though they got through the defense line. However, the Ottoman forces withdrew from the city due to their psychological state and their determination to not let the city be destroyed. Ottoman troops abandoned Jerusalem on the night of December 8, 1917. In the morning of December 9, 1917, Mayor El Husseini stepped outside the city walls to deliver the city's symbolic key and the delivery document. The first people they met were two cooks. Then came more soldiers of different ranks. Nobody knew what to do. In the end, 60th Division Commander Shea got the city on behalf of Alenbi. General Alenbi walked on foot to the Jaffa Gate on December 11, 1917. Illustrations published in Europe depicted Alenbi as entering the city in the presence of angels. The fall of Jerusalem was likened to the Crusades in the British press and Alenbi to Godfrey of Bewillan, who occupied Jerusalem during the First Crusade. Alenbi completed the unfinished crusade of Richard the Lionheart, the English king who set out for crusade, and failed centuries ago. From October 31, 1917 to December 8, 1917, until the fall of Jerusalem, the Ottoman military saw a total of 25,000 casualties, including martyrs, the wounded, and captives. They are remembered up until today as heroes of great courage and strong character. Join Intel Prime Channel membership today and get access to exclusive benefits, including early access to new videos, exclusive discounts on Intel products, behind the scenes content, live chat with me and other members. Other options will be soon available. 
Thank you for your support and for helping Intel Prime grow.